to my channel. It's the camper van tonight, pack three. And here's one of my co hosts, when I find my mouse, is Dave Say. Hello, good evening, everybody. And um, I, I hope you're all looking forward to a, a lovely build that we're going to have tonight on the um, Samba camper van, the one uh, eight scale Volkswagen Samba camper van. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, so, yeah, we're going to uh, stick with us because we've got lots coming up. And my second co host, Already, Dave. You then, everybody. Um, be a cracker build tonight, so keep watching. Right. Would one of you two do a comment so far while I change my camera around? Yeah. If, uh, John to Dave wants to go on the comments, and then um, I'll go on to the onto the pack itself. Um, right. We're well, usually getting ready. Not the comments. Um, Yorkshire Crafter, hello everyone. Hello, Julie. DFC, hello everyone. Hello. Dano's Bills, hello everyone. Hello, Dano. Hi, Dano. Penelope Pitstop, good evening. I'm on a Leo Ross, so can watch first 10 minutes. But hello to you all and wish you a happy build. Hello, Penny. Hello, Penny. Christine C. Hello, everyone. Hello, darling. Hello, Christine. And, and Bex, Bex Arklet. Hello, all. Is everyone keeping safe? Hello, Bex Arklet. Yes. yes, we're, we're all okay. Thank you. That's um, chat up with it. Yeah, okay. Right. Um, you might have noticed that um, one of us is missing tonight. So, uh, Mark, Mark Mods, uh, so if you're listening, um, hurry up and get well soon. Um, our thoughts are with you, and um, we're, we're missing you already. And in a moment, we're going to be looking at uh, stage 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 tonight of the T1 Samba Camper 18 scale Volkswagen van. Yeah. Um, this is going to be fabulous. This is really going to be fabulous. I love this this Volkswagen. I think it's brilliant. It's, lovely. it's, lovely. it's iconic, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely iconic. As much as iconic as the Rootmaster, really, if not more. Yes. Yeah. So, um, let's crack on then. Stage 15, the right front door trim. Yeah, I'm just sorting out the screws at the moment. Wait, top screws will do. Okay. So I open up the package and I put them in the pot. Okay. And, and I think what we're going to do, I think what we're going to do tonight, folks, is that we're going to alternate build. Um, and between me and Dave, um, I'm going to be reading the instructions, and Jody Dave's going to be uh, reading the chat, and then we'll swap over and. Um, Jody Dave will be reading the instructions and I'll be reading the chat. So and we'll swap over like that all night. Till we get the um till we get this pack sorted out, won't we? Yeah. 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 Right. Are you ready, Adrian? Yes. Okay, then we will begin. So let's go. Your parts um 15-1. The right front door trim top panel. Yes. Oh. Same again. Got lovely silver screws marked on it. Yeah. Nice detail. Yeah. That's lovely, is that? So 15-2 is the right front door trim middle panel. Yeah. Same again. Lovely marking screws on it. Yeah. Nice detail in it. Yeah. Looks lovely. 
and 15.3, the right front door trim lower panel. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. That's probably where you would kick the door open from inside, wouldn't it? With generally a kick plate. Um, yes, yeah, so or hold the door open. Yeah. So, and then we've got uh, 15 for a handle. Yeah. There it is in this package. Here's my handle. Nice chrome handle. Right. So, yes. And then we've got 15.5 screws of 1.8 times 4 millimeter BP03 screw. Yes. Okay. And um, within this uh, parts uh, countdown, it gives you a diagram of what you're going to be doing in this uh, in this uh, section. And so that moves us on to step 15A. Hiya, Adrian. Yep, I was just getting screw A on the screwdriver. Yeah, okay. So step 15A then is fit the handle 15-4 into the hole along the top edge of the right front door trim middle panel 15-2. Uh, the handle can only fit in one position as indicated. Yes. Okay, yeah. Cool, that one's slightly higher than the other one. Yeah. Okay. 15B, uh, secure the handle from the other side of the panel with a BP03 screw, 15.5. Want to bring up the chat, Dave? Yeah. P40, F20, I all. IP IP40S20. Pretty good year. Hi all. Hope you all well and safe. Good luck with your build. Hi Fleetwood Jay. Nice for, it, for you to come along and join us. Um, I know that the E1 Samba Camper van is one of your favourites. Hi Fleetwood. Right. That handle's on. Yeah, no nice handle. Nice handle, mate. <laughs> Bit of a dodgy London accent there. <laughs> yeah, coming from a Yorkshire. Yeah. <laughs> right. So they want to set the next stage, actually fit this one. But the way the handle is, I'm thinking start to fit the top half because you think about it, you've got to try and fit that one underneath, underneath there and clip it in. Yeah. So I'm reckoning to actually do the top panel first. Right. So that is they see. that is um fifteen E, is it not? That will be fifteen E, I think. Guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna set the top one first off. Okay, that's all right. So step 15E is align the tabs at the ends of the top panel, 15-1, with the holes in the door arrowed. What I tend to do is actually do the back one first off, because where the plastic is bent like that, it's easier to push that down to try and clip that in like so. Yeah, okay. So do you want to go back to the um, step of 15C then now? Yes. Okay. So 15C, uh, retrieve the right front door, stage 12, and align the tab at either end on, on the middle of the panel, corresponding slot at each end of the door. And then 15D says... Um, Press the middle panel into place. Uh, the panel should be flush against the door. Whoa. Yeah, you see why? Because there's not much room underneath that one there to try and 
because yeah. that's where the, that's where that handle fitted yeah so it's i'd rather than that one than that one yeah i understand fully yeah it looks brilliant absolutely brilliant right so that takes us on to step 15f which i think you've done and 15f is press the panel into place until flush yep they are then i see it yeah and then fifth step 15g is align the tabs at the ends of the lower panel 15.3. With the corresponding holes in the door, press the lower panel into place. Same again. I'm doing back of the door and try and push the other one down in. Instead of trying to push both of them at the same time. Yeah. Right. That was then. And then that's uh, stage complete once that's in. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a great image. Um, oh, you don't have um, Fleetwood G, I filmed, I filmed pack one and two, just got to edit and upload to YouTube shortly. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. Right, and that door's nicely done. Yeah, and that gives you a finished image of the drop, the the door on the near side it will be because it's a left hand drive uh, vehicle so it'll be the near side door uh, and it's then on to packs uh, sorry stage 16 the left front seat back and i'll hand that over to Jordi dave thank you yeah each stage got a nice cardboard cover and they all mark their big issue they are. Right. Okay, your parts. Left front seat back. Yep. That's 62, 62 left front seat back panel. That's correct. And there's a diagram. Details of the view where it's going. More details of the truck. And um, okay, 16 here. Carefully store the parts supplied with this stage for later use. Yes. Do you want us to do the next one, dear? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let me just get them out. Oh. Um. I can't do this stage. Oh no. Oh, broken part. Yes, it's a broken part. So I'm going to have to sit down and try and glue that. I'm not going to try and do it, glue it now. Yeah. Right. Mm. That depends if I end up fitting that to the vehicle or not. Yeah. It might be an added to put that to one side, Adrian, because um, am I right in saying, Dave, that these, this seat doesn't get fitted either? Uh, no. <laughs> Not yet, no. Just gets put together. Okay. Oh, well, that's pushed together. The only, trouble is, the only trouble is I think it's gonna go into the next stage. Yeah, you fit those two together. Cause yeah, because that's already roughly pushed together and it's the wrong way up. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm going. Actually, could you glue it in position like that? Yeah. Um, I could do. 
Well, I'll see if I've got a spare one. For a moment, so. Okay. I can check if that one's right. Okay, so um, let me go back to this um, Fleetwood J for a minute. I filmed uh, pack one and two, uh, got to edit and upload to YouTube shortly. So are you filming it from uh, every stage then, uh, Jason, every stage that you're building? Because that'll be interesting to look uh, back on from stage one right to the right to the finish. That'd be brilliant. And um, um, was it your... Uh, wheels that I saw you modded and if so are you modding any of the rest of it right okay I'm just changing around parts here for months. Okay. So it looks like you might be able to carry on with st uh, stage 17, then, uh, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right. Okay, 17 more left front seat. Right, 1A. You line that one up and you push it together, don't you? Which I've also roughly already done. Yeah. Okay, so that's the second one. Yeah. Seventeen B basically push it together. Yes. B push it together. Seventy seventy C check the two parts are flush with each other. Yes, they are. Then we'll go to 17D. Right. My opinion, because they actually lined these two up like so. Right, so if, they, if they actually package them in the other way around, it that piece might not easily have got broken off. Mm -hmm. 17D, are we doing that? Yes. Right, align the holes in the corners of the left front seat base, 17 2, with the corresponding posts in the corners of the left front seat. Press the two posts together and put the bases inside the seat. Yep. Secure the two posts together with four BP or three screws. Just while he's doing that, I'll bring the chat up again. And it says, um, Fleetwood J says, uh, I have done pack one as one video, but uh, done the stages like Adrian. Okay. And uh, I filmed the packs, but done each stage like Adrian. Okay. Thanks, Fleetwood. And Fleetwood J also says, yes, my wheels are now red instead of cream. I will be modding the engine with some engine details. Wow. That'd be brilliant. Right. 
Off those four screws have gone in there nicely. It is. 70 in G. Now we're laying the holes in the ends of the seat back brackets with those in the brackets of the seat base. How do we knock it out? Uh, 78. It's secure the back to the CPS with two BP or three screws, 73 for the lane tools. Yep. Okay, doc. And that's stage complete. Yeah. Wow. So, can I do what you do? Yeah, you can do. Stage 18, the front seat's floor. This is the interesting part. Looks like it's going to get interesting from now on. Yes. Okay. So your parts will be um, 18 1, the uh, front seat's floor. Yes. There we go. Massive piece, that. Yes. Plastic, I presume. Guess it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then uh, 18 2 at the bottom compartment cover. Oh, yes. Pass it again. Right. Okay. And then 18 3 at the left front seat lock. Guess. Left front seat lock. Whoa. There and then 18 for screws um 2.3 by 4 millimeter bp04 and there's three of them yes so bp04 it gives you a diagram of um what we're going to do we're going to screw a seat to the um floor and the bottom pan and we go to step 18a okay so step 18a is fit the two rails on the underside of the left front seat inside the two rails on the front seat's floor 18 1. Before I do that, I might need screws, so 
Yeah. I'm going to get a screw ready on the screwdriver. Yeah, I don't blame you. So okay. now, I have, now I have my hands full of things. And, oh, get yeah. this screw out. <laughs> so eight, step 18B would be to turn the floor over while holding the seat in place with the indicated hole in the shown position. Yep. Right. Okay. Step 18C is place the left front seat lock 18.3 onto the underside of the floor over the hole in the bottom of the seat. It shows you using tweezers. I'm working right. Okay. I reckon it goes. Which way up is not clear. Yeah. I would have said I would have said that way. Oh, yeah, I would have said that way too. Okay. And you know what the next thing is? 18D. It's uh, fix the lock in place with a BP04 screw. Yeah, when it's starts to rest, get the seat, put it like so. I think, hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. That's clever. Right. Um, 18E is uh, check the front left seat can slide forward and backwards on the floor uh, if it can't move loosen the screw slightly the lock should engage with the three notches in the floor rail yes they do okay brilliant but then we're going to step 18f and step 18f is Place the bottom compartment cover, 18.2, on the underside of the seat's floor, placing the holes at the sides over the indicated posts. Hang on, I'm just going to get this. I think, I think, thought you might do that, yeah, because... Yes, get a screw ready. Yeah. Get one ready. Because I wish, when I say, oh, place this, I wish you could say, oh, get this sort of screw ready on a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, they do, do they? So, step 18G is secure the compartment cover with two BP04 screws. Right, okay, I'm just. I like that bit of kit there. I like that. That's clever. The way they designed it. Yeah. But they designed a movable seat. Hmm. It's in nice and tight. Okay, that is stage complete then. It's nice where they can move that, so change change the effect in the vehicle. Yeah. And if you like, Dave, I'll do the next one. What? Okay. So stage 19, the middle seats floor. Getting a bigger package now. Yeah. Wow. 
Okay. So when you're ready, Adrian, your parts will be 1901 middle seats floor. Now I can just open the screws up, pulling the screws into pots here. Yeah. Yeah, good idea because these are different screws. Yes. There's a comment, Dave. How many issues? Uh, Bakes out of it. How many issues are there in the camera van? It's it's 120 stages, but it comes in uh, tw 12 packs. So they basically several different stages in each stage. Right, okay. Okay, so 19.1 is the middle seat's floor. Yes. Nice big bit of plastic there. Yes, it is. Yeah, and 19.2 is screws. 2.3 by 4 millimeter BP05 screws. Yeah, and there, is, and there is five of them. And it gives you a diagram of what we're going to do next. We're going to screw us the next seat to the floor, and then it says step 19A. I got a total of seven screws. Oh, that's all right. So step 19A is retrieve the right front seat, stage 13, and the front seat's floor. Step 19B, locate the two brackets on the floor, on the front of the floor. And step 19C says the two L-shaped hooks on the front of the underside of the right front seat uh, fit into the brackets in the floor. And step 19D says, insert the hooks into the brackets. Do not force them as they may break. Right, okay. Easier said than done. Yeah. So you've like got, a, rub, you got like you got the like the rub in the way. Yeah. It's like you tilt the front of the seat in first and then you put the you, you drop the back ones in. Well the looks of it. Yes, it's similar to that I would have said, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wondered about that. If you could just prowse it back a little bit. And... Yes.
Okay. Okay. Okay, and then step 19E says, lower the re rear of the seat into the brackets in the floor arrowed. Right, yeah, and then ship able to click in and click out. Yeah, and uh, step 19F says, turn the floor over and check that the extensions to the left seat are properly positioned through the floor. Right. Yes, they are. Okay. Step 19G says, uh, make sure the left seat can slide forward and backwards. Yes. Yeah. And step 19H says, uh, che check the right seat can lift up and down at the rear. That's funny. It got little catches in the back, so like keep it down. So, how yeah. do you, you make sure it tilts or thing? Yeah, when you push it down and clicks on, you're gonna have fun if you actually with the model. It's either what you do, either you take those little clips off, you file those down a bit, so they just just slot in because if you yeah. clip them in. Right, they're clipped in. Okay. So step 19i is uh, the parts supplied in this stage will be used in the following stage. And it says stage complete. Okay. Right. Dano was built. How many seats does the caravan have? Um... You have the front seat, yeah, the, you have three rows. I think it's got nine, hasn't it? Three, yeah, six, that's nine. Yes. It's going to be rather cramped in there as well with nine, nine people. Baby fun. Do you want me to do 20? Yeah, please do. Okay, 20. The rear seats flow. Yeah, I'm just, just dealing with the screws at the moment. Right, okay. Uh, rear, 21, rear seat flow. Yes. Well, 22. 22 screws 2.3 by 4 millimeter BP05. Yep. Oh, I've got ample now. Okay. You ready for step? Right, step 20. Insert the. Yeah. yeah. 20. Insert the posts along the front underside of the rear seat floor. 21. Into the holes at the rear of the middle seat floor. Step 20. Put the two pieces together so that they are flush. Yes, they are. Turn the floor over and secure them with five BP or five screws. Well, I assembled it upside down so I knew I could see where the screws went. Right.
reminds me of the root master roof if you're doing that. Yes. Turn that the other way up. Right. Okay. Okay, Click step 20D. Turn the floor over and check that the parts are flush with no gaps between them. I am happy with that. Right, 20D. Retrieve the front seat floor and align the holes along the rear with those at the front of the middle seat floor. When you have to press the ports together. Well, you know what's going next. Yep. Twenty D. Secure this company using six three three or five screw nineteen two. Problem is, I didn't get a screwdriver ready to put in one of the holes. Right. Peck I hole. I'm going to grab that one. Fleetwood J says, I have to say the screw's going nicely and very easy. I find using the wearer screwdriver gives more gives me more control. Yeah, so I just basically grabbed the screwdriver I see at the moment. Right.
go for all these screws, make sure they're all nice and tight. Nice and tight. Or well, tight as you dare, AC. Yeah, you know, just find anything. Oh, yes. Right, okay. That's it, stage complete. Wow. Yes. Well, you might as well do the next one, Dave. See you, story one. Yeah. The middle seats floor carpet. Right. Yes, I did get the right one. Right. There it is. Wow. Picture's just the way it's going. Um, yeah. Load up, load up, load up. The pole will be used in the following stage. That's 21 here. So we know what the might as well do 22 and you do the rest. <laughs> yeah, okay. Smith 22, the rear seat floor covers. Yes, sir. And there's that one. Wow. Look. They're all nice, flat, like a plastic rubbery sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. Step 22E. Retrieve the floor assembly and the carpet from stage 20 and 21. Yes. 22B. Locate the whole circle in the floor. Take the middle seat floor carpet and locate the six port on the underside of it. Right. Turn 22D, turn the carpet over and insert the posts into the holes in the second floor circles in step B. Okay. So we press the carpet into the posts. Into the holes in the floor. Basically, go around where all the pegs are. Just make sure they're nice at home. Is that going? Okay. That will basically fall off. If you assemble it on, definitely fall off again. Probably the seats when it go on will hold the world. Yes. Don't go and put them all up and think, oh, yes, turn it over. <laughs> uh, you find the mat will move. You'll lose your mats. Yeah. Come on, what's that jump off for? Uh, 22F, take the carpet from this stage and align the posts on the underside of the holes in the third floor. Step 23, press the post into the holes in the floor, and that's stage complete. And yeah, you can try. Until you put the seats down, they're not going to. Yes. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, it'll hold them down. Have you got the rib parts up or uppermost, Adrian?
Gav, or if it comes up, you can always, when you come to do this, you can always put a bit of glue on those tags later date on the side, can't you? Yeah. That's the people's choice if they want to. Yeah. Of course it is. Okay. So is that, that stage complete then? Yep. So stage 23. Uh, the front seat's bulkhead. Right. Okay, it's all nicely packaged, Adrian. Yes, they are. So, um, your parts will be uh, the twenty-three one front seat bulkhead. Yep, and that's the front, and that's the rear side. Okay. Now, actually, that's going to be the front, and that's the rear side of the vehicle. Yeah, of course. Front seat's bulkhead, right. Okay. And then we've got 23, uh, 23 two, uh, screws, two, 0.3 times 4 millimeter BP05 screws. Yep, and they've given me one spare. Excellent. It gives you a diagram of what we're going to do. I'm going to put the bulkhead behind the front seat. And then it goes on to step 23A. Retrieve the floor assembly and locate the two holes behind the front seats and the three slots at the front of the floor. Right, you got screw mark there and one there. You've got three you know, yeah. slots there. Yeah. So 23B, locate the five tabs in the front seat bulkhead. <clears throat> yep and 23c place the front seats bulkhead behind the front seats okay okay and uh, 23D says, press the tabs along the bottom of the bulkhead into the slots in the floor. Right. Okay, yes, got it in. Okay. Cuckoo. Lovely. <laughs> Cuckoo. Right. <laughs> so 23E says align the holes in the tabs at the front of the bulkhead with the corresponding holes in the floor below. Yes. And then it says, turn the assembly over while holding the bulkhead in place and secure the two screws. And I would have thought at this stage, your mats will fall off. Uh, I'll hit the chart. What mods could use a ruler to flatten the carpet? Yeah. P40F20. Woodland scenic foam tack glue would be a good choice for gluing those rubber mats down. Right. Thank you. So 
Loading the screw hole at the moment. Those two screws are nicely done up. Okay, lovely. And that is stage complete. Yes. Lovely. So, on to stage 24, the middle seat back. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go once again. Right, so um, the middle seat back. Stage 24. I wonder what they're going to have us do with this one. Right, okay, so 20, your parts are 24 1, middle seat back. Yes. And 24 2 middle seat back panel. Yes. Okay, it gives you a diagram and it tells you all about movable seats where within the camper, uh, front seats and rear seats, all movable seats. So, step 24A these parts will be used in the following stage. Yes. And um, which brings us nicely on to stage 25, the middle seats back. Yeah, I'm getting that one out as well. Okay. So your parts will be 25 1, middle seats back. Yes. Oh, looks lovely. Yep. And then it'd be 25 2, the middle seats back panel. Yep. Ah. Oh. Notice it's got handrails on as well on the top. Yep. Yes. 25 3, an ashtray. Ooh. That's a rare occurrence. Oh, you can swalk an odd one. <laughs> yeah. What you find, well, they're actually creating the, when it was designed for. Yeah, 1962, smoking was yeah. quite um, fashionable then. Yeah. yeah. I, used to, I used to remember going down the coach, when, when my dad brought the coach in for, to be cleaned, going along all the seats in the coaches, out in all the ashtrays. Yeah, I did the same day. Flicking them all, pressing the button and flicking them all down into the bucket. Yeah. Taking a screwdriver with you in case anybody put some chewing gum in the bottom. Yeah, there was a, there was a, half the while was stuffed full of really sweet paper and everything. Yeah. <laughs> memories. I love memories. So, um, 25 4 screws. 1.8 by 4 millimeter BP03 screws. Yes. Right. Okay. It gives you a diagram of what we're going to do. We're going to basically put the seat backs on the on the back panels. And so it takes us to step 25A. Retrieve the middle seat back. 24-1 and seat back panel 24-2 from stage 24. Place the holes in the corners of the seat back into the posts on the panel. It's soon they can turn these seats like the root mast. Well, the root mast seats like these. 
Yeah, they'd be good like that, wouldn't they? And then it says uh, step 25B, press the two parts together. The panels should be flush with the back edge of the seat back. A microphone, one corner does a click. Yeah. Right. That's nicely together. It is lovely. Step 25C says identify the three pins on the reverse of the ashtray at 25.3 and insert them into the corresponding holes in the rear of the middle seat backs panel 25.2. Well, first off, I'm getting a screwdriver. Right. Right. My mind, I think it wouldn't matter which way it goes. Right. Yeah, there's a identifying marking, yes. Yeah. Okay, and then it says there, uh, step 25D, secure the ashtray to the back to the panel with two BP or three screws 25-4. Yes. Both of those are both in. Jolly good. And step 25E, align the posts in the panel with the holes in the middle seats back, 25-1. Yep. And 25S, F says, press the two parts of the middle seats together. Check that the bars sit in their recesses in the middle seats back. Seem to fit really well, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yes, it do. Uh, 25G says, check that the middle seats appear as those shown. Yeah, that's a nice... Bush fit connection. Yes. And that is stage complete, Adrian. And that is um, uh, 15 to 25 complete as well. Yes. Uh, so, do you know on the route master? I remember, yeah. I remember upstairs on buses when they were smoking, they would have. So you didn't put your cigarette on, on the seats. They had little stubbers like that. Yeah, they had little stubbers on the back, didn't they? About an inch and a half, two inches long. They right. stub your cigarette on. Did the robots have them upstairs on their seats? No. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure. Um, I know that a lot of other um, double-deck bus vehicles did. Um, yeah. And I, I can imagine that the route master would have something similar. Yeah, just a... A stubber on the back of the seat, perhaps. Just to make that, it seems that it's been left out on the model build. <laughs> yeah, it has, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's been left out on the model. Yeah. Um, that's if they add them. Um, and I know that a lot of others of the same period vehicles did. Uh, yeah, the, the, they had the stubbers on the back. The stubbers were more, were more 1970s, though than the ashtrays. The ashtrays were from the 1920s onwards. 
and they went through to the 70s and um come the late 60s you know the 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 um ashtrays fell out of favor for a stubber so well, did, the well, did, did the coaches not keep the ashtrays in until the laws came the the coaches kept the ashtrays in and then they started making the ashtrays further to the back uh -huh. so and then they and then they altered them to stubbers as well you know so you could only stub out your cigarette so the law came in and said that's it nothing yeah 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 so what um the coach one of the coaches i used to drive um uh, had um um ashtrays um towards the rear back eight seats i believe it was i think there was only eight seats at the very back of the, the bus that were yeah. classed as smoking seats and they were they had little ashtrays in the center of the coaching seats at the back mm -hmm. and um they were styled on the 1960s ones but there were 1980s ones yeah yeah, double decker buses mostly is smoking upstairs, not downstairs. Yeah, and then of course they've outlawed it now, smoking in any public service vehicle. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. All right, um, da -da -da. one more in the chat, P4820. Nice work, Adrian. Superb looking model. So far, pardon me there, just a bit of wind. <laughs> yeah it's a brilliant looking model so far i agree i agree with that um you probably can't see what we can see on the instructions but we're getting little as we're going through the instructions and um, we're getting little diagrams of the bits we've built so far and um, um it looks yeah it looks really detailed really nice um i think it's going to be quite a nice model well it's going to be a very nice model without a shadow of a doubt mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I roughly know the length of it as well. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it'd be a, a, a mammoth build, really. Uh, similar to the size of the Root Master, I would have thought. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just... If it was a smaller size, it might go well with the Root Master, but no. Yeah, it's well, like it's big yeah 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 well it's it's one eighth scale isn't it so you know it's going to go with your aston martin and all the rest of them and the jaguar and you know all that because they're all one eighth scale aren't they you know yeah. that fiddle in one of them cases with them spotlights what was shown last night was yeah would look fantastic yeah it would wouldn't it yeah yeah with some doors open and what have you and, and then oh. maybe a bit of uh diorama around it with some you know a campfire and a tent you know and I, I think if i was making a diorama with it i'd make a toilet tent as well with a little flickering light in the toilet tent so that, that hey. always makes me laugh oh <laughs> god tell the story about that well, <laughs> no the, the wife went down to the allotment and she goes there's no toilet there <laughs> so when we come back home i said we're looking i was looking at an ebay so i goes oh guess what there's a nice little shed there's a camp <laughs> toilet and we'll put that in. <laughs> <laughs> so um I was telling uh Wayne at work, you know, the lad I look after. And I said, and he says, Oh, so if anybody goes to the old lot, they can go to the toilet. I says, Yes, but the cord have a number two. <laughs> Why? I says, because I'm not cleaning that out. That's says so I says, so if you come to my allotment and you have a number two. You'll be walking home with a little goodie bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, if you have a number two, here's a shovel. You empty it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I um, I question is, a... you got to dig the hole about three foot, four foot down. Aye. <laughs> well, <laughs> so. I'm going to have to put a toilet in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just noticed uh, P40F20 has put, how is Christine, Dave? So, well, um, yeah, Christine is doing rather well. 
Um, she's got uh, a couple of appointments coming up with uh, ones with the doctors and ones with the hospital. Um, I can't go into too much detail, but um, yeah, she's um, we've got um, the necessary help on the way. I think uh, for for um, what she's suffering with at the moment. So um, I'm keeping a close eye on her, and which is why I didn't stream the other night. Um, and thankfully, Max Mods and uh, these guys here took over from me on the um, Eddie Sturback wagon. Um, so I, I feel really, I feel really thankful for that, uh, for for these guys taking over. But um, she's had to be having a cl close eye taken over uh, over the last few days. And um, believe you me, I've got one ear um, listening at the moment, so that she's okay. Uh, fingers crossed, she's going to be all right. And um, you know, we'll keep you updated as soon as we can. And um, you, you know it's not very nice when you when you're a bit poorly and you know you can't do nothing about it until you get you know the necessary appointment at the at the hospital so uh but yeah thank you yeah she's she's okay at the moment thank you you want to read that comment from mark dave uh yeah mark boards uh, get a composting toilet <laughs> well as as funny as that might seem i mean we used to go camping quite a lot um on these various rallies and shows that we used to go to and uh, some of the rallies and shows um they would have like you know a cesspit where we where you would empty your caravan toilet and what have you and um you know it would go into the main drainage system and away and one particular place we used to go to in Yorkshire, and Matt will know this place, uh, Ackworth, uh, at the Water Tower at Ackworth. Um, and uh, a nice gentleman there, uh, he, he lent us the field for uh, the steam rally that we used to go to. And in this field, um, there was a, a toilet, and it was a toilet block. And um, out the toilet block, back there were some long pipes and these long pipes went down into the field and if you looked a little bit further there was his cabbages and his potatoes and his sprouts and everything else and there was all fed <laughs> from this um composting toilet <laughs> they could compost you <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's absolutely true and, um, <laughs> so yeah mark if you're passing the aquas water tower if anybody else is passing the aquas water tower remember what i've just said and have a little chuckle to yourselves uh, and um yeah um <laughs> you take your chance if you buy some cabbages or some sprouts from him because you know, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> apparently apparently and i like that word apparently they are very nice <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah so yeah uh, that's absolutely true <laughs> well, i'll be soon you got to remember this plot where I've got my thing has been, been not touched for three years. Wow. So when Danny was going through some stuff, he seen this bag that had said dog food on. Big <laughs> bag. So he had to open it up and have a look and it was full of dog's muck. And he says it absolutely oh, rang. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> With oh, a dear. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so, dear. Oh, uh, I says I hope you got rid of this because I ain't touching it when I go and do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. We've we'll, 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 we'll done up some bloody funny things doing it. I bet you have. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine it though, can't you? If, um... Some of the neighbours might have just been hiding things over into the 
you know. <laughs> well, we've got this yeah. man, and you know, and it's and it's it's all when we're getting into it, it's all it's been all um kitchen stuff. Yeah. No, the kitchen wood units. Yeah, yeah. Rotten down. Yeah. And it's bloody, look when you're pulling when you're pulling into it, the compost is getting even better and better underneath. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that, that would be good. I would have thought. Mm -hmm. P40F20 said, I would have thought most farmers would use manure for fertilizer. Yes, well, that is an actual, actual fact. Yes, um, having personal experience of working on farms, I can tell you that I've spread um horse muck, I've spread cow muck, and I've spread pig muck. Uh, all over the land. Um, you know, no, I haven't spread human muck, but I do know of a farm um, that's not so very far away from here that does use human waste in um, fertilizer in land. And <laughs> that, hu that human waste does include blood and uh, several other bits and pieces. And um, that gets all com composted up and um, made into fertilizer and obviously spread on the land so yes mm -hmm. uh, and some people say you are what you eat well <laughs> i didn't know i didn't know what waste could be turned into compost oh yeah yeah you'd be quite surprised dave yeah yeah you'd be quite surprised yeah Yes. So yeah, um, hu human waste actually is actually a very good uh, fertilizer, and um, our son um, actually actually came home and said, "Oh, there's a great big pile of cake up the road." He said it didn't have stink. So we went cake. He went, "Yeah, cake." So, so we said, "Well, what's cake?" And he said, "Well, you know, it's um, number twos. It's um, you know." He said it's what um, comes out of everybody's cesspits, gets um, composted, and then gets piled up into farmers' uh, fields, and they get to spread it on the land. So I said, oh, my goodness me. I said, I didn't know that. So he said, yeah. He said, they call it cake. <laughs> <laughs> and when you look at it, it's like, you know, a grey, brown mass of, looks like cake. Apart from it, uh, there's about 10 tons of it. <laughs> I know, it's all like stinky bit. Yeah. Well, you know, when you spread the muck around here, you can smell it. Yeah. So P40F20 says, uh, life full circle. Yes. Um, yeah, we are what we eat. Life full circle. Um, we, we come from dust and we will return to dust, don't we? So, yeah. Uh, Dano builds. Dad, not any ideas. <laughs> We're not scattering human waste <laughs> on, the, on the allotment. <laughs> A Mac mod says it's good to recycle. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it makes your roses grow, but it makes your sprouts even better. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, uh, it's a fact of life. Yeah, that's uh, in actual fact that farm I was telling you about at Aquath, Aquath Moor Top, it is actually. Um, he has some really, really good uh, produce, and um, I've never seen produce like it. And it could be, it could be the fact that it's you know it's the waste that because on that bit of land he has all sorts or did have all sorts of steam rallies and get-togethers and music concerts and all that sort of thing so um these toilets are well used and um, you could tell the where the drainage was going down the hill and then um, onto his plot uh, onto his veg plot <laughs> oh god oh. oh why not i had some very good produce it was growing really well uh, yeah. Hey, you might you might find it like okay, a cesspit rail or the number two is actually sticking to the tank basically, and the water wasted its show flow. You never know. You might then right okay, manure base of human waste, but it probably got dug out and basically, and that's probably was spread over another field. Yeah. 
P forty F twenty says, "Well, this show certainly has gone down the toilet." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Good comment, P four F twenty. <laughs> yeah. Right. Good bit of Netta. Yeah. Um I'm gonna ask Dave say to Dave's Okay, well out. thanks for joining us tonight and um please don't be upset about our little bit of humor, but <laughs> it is actually true. So um yeah, um good night from me. Uh, thanks uh, for joining us and um commenting in the chat. Give Adrian a nice good thumbs up for tonight, uh, because it's been quite a build and this camper van is coming along now. So yeah, um can't wait for the next issue. So good night from me. And Good day, Dave. I'm um, glad we we'll charge you up more. Uh, we'll have a laugh sometimes. I hope everybody's enjoyed the show. And um, it's a good night from me. Right. Just before I'll go, I'll go through announcements for the next week. We will not have something on Sunday. Unless Dave's feel up to doing a show on a Sunday. Uh, I'm, well, I'll decide a bit later on, but at the moment, no. Right. Well, at the moment, we're pensing. Dave say he might do a show on Sunday. Just watch his channel. And where are we? Um, Monday. Monday, we have Chris Campin. He'll be, probably be doing the Terminator. Yeah. Then on Tuesday, it'll be I... I might be doing Terminator or um, a camper van. I don't know which right. yet. Okay. Then, well, midday, but on Wednesdays, midday, about we about one o'clock. There'll be a Yorkshire Crafter and Penetti Pit Stop. They're both yeah. doing the diamond painting around one o'clock. Excellent. Then eight o'clock on Wednesday, hopefully be kind of finished pits up and Horlix doing his route master. Wow. Thursday, nothing on Thursday. The next Friday I might be doing the next pack of the camper on the okay. Friday. Okay. Jolly good. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for your both help to do the show tonight, guys. You're welcome, Adrian. And it's goodbye from all of us.